Hi guys, thanks for coming to my channel. It's all about living your best life and I just call it bucket list. So if it's your, it's your first time coming to my channel, then welcome. Take a minute and subscribe if you wanna get great content on places to go, things you should do, things you should try, or just my reviews of things that I am doing. And so um, you're just gonna get lots of content. I'm big on trying things first and I've said from like my entire life that um, exposure is the best thing that can happen so I've had a chance to go to Bali to Hawaii um, to most recently um, oh the Baltic islands with Greece Viking cruises things like that and then even small things like the dinner in the sky just that big like crane that takes you up and you have dinner so just keep following my channel and then if there are things that you've been wondering about and you've wanted to try let me know because I will try it um so uh today I just wanted to like continue with some content I'm still on Viking Cruise content and depending on when you're coming across this channel you know you might be like okay this is the fifth video she's doing if you're coming across my channel right now or I don't know if you come across it at different points then this might be exactly what you need but this video that I'm gonna talk about is do you need to add on additional things when you're choosing your Viking cruise so let's just get into it uh, this is gonna be a short video but I just want to give you guys some tips on when you're trying something for the first time if you're like me um, because I do try a lot of things first I love that but I also do a lot of research so sometimes I think am I really an explorer? Because I kind of feel like I'm a planner because even though I do things first, I still spend a lot of time like researching it and figuring it out. So if you're that kind of person, you've come to the right place. So if you have booked a Viking cruise, by now you may have gotten a packet or you may have um, got an email that says, would you like to add on some additional time to your cruise so i just want to give you my opinions about the add-ons on the front end and on the back end and i actually did this video because i got a question and a comment about this and so i answered the person's question she's a subscriber thank you for subscribing and giving me this question and inspiring this video so i thought i would just make a quick video out of what i shared with her so i am going off of the most recent trip that i went on that um, gave us an itinerary uh, which is about seven days on the boat and a about two days of travel so one thing that i did not know um was how much time we would get in each port so you book the trip based on kind of the headline where it's like from Athens to Venice but what you don't find out until really really close to the day um, of departing is how much time you get on the front end of your trip at your first destination and how much time you get at the back end of your trip in your final destination and the thing is you probably will make decisions about extending your trip on the front end or the back end before you get the entire guide and itinerary. So does that make sense? Okay, so how do you make a decision on if you need more time added on your trip before or after if you really don't have the itinerary? So here's what I learned. Let's get into it. Um, you get about two days on the front end of your trip anyway. I know, right? So I met some people who added like a day and a half on top of their trip on the front end in Athens and they were really disappointed that they did that. I'm just being honest, it has nothing to do with Viking. I'm a huge Viking cruise fan, but just because think about it guys people are flying in from all across the world so the first destination is going to be docked landside 
for probably two days to allow all of the mistakes that could happen. Like for us, our bags were lost. Thank goodness we were, we had another day land side to wait for our bags to arrive. So what they don't really tell you is there is a good amount of like travel day built in to your first destination. So I would not recommend adding any additional time in your first city. And while we're kind of on that topic, if you're wondering about missing your boat, if you book with the cruise line, there's no way that you're going to miss your boat. So pick the travel times that work best for you. And I would highly recommend not getting there or not making it like a really difficult travel day um, because they're not going to leave you. Okay. So, um, so on the front end, I just don't think you need to add additional days or hotel stays, okay? Now, on the back end of the same cruise, the reverse happens. So we loved the idea of saying to our friends, oh, we're going from Athens to Venice. But the reality is that for us, we landed or floated. <laughs> We arrived in the port of Venice at, I think, around 11 o'clock at night. Um, and the departure time to the airport for most people was 9 a.m. in the morning. And because of the way you depart a cruise... You have to have your bags packed and outside of your door around 10 o'clock at night, the night prior. So what I'm saying here is absolutely, if you want to spend more time in your final destination, even before you've gotten your boarding um, documents and I mean your full itinerary, I think a travel hack is hack is absolutely plan to spend one additional day if you really really love the final destination because that final destination is treated mostly as a departure day so we got very little time in venice and for the most part the folks that had a 9 a.m flight had to meet in the lobby at around 4 a.m so even if you wanted to get off of the boat on um, the evening before, um, just think about it. You're doing your final things. Your bags are probably having to be packed. You know that you have to get up at four in the morning. So probably very few chances that you're going to want to fully explore the last des destination before heading to the airport. So my recommendation is if you're going to extend your trip, if you want to spend a little bit more time, um, I would pick doing it at the end of the trip and especially if you think that you're going to love the last stop. If you book the trip for that destination, you don't want to be disappointed finding out later that you're leaving that destination at 10 in the morning. So I hope this helps. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like and subscribe so that you can get more great content about how to live your best life and check those things off your bucket list. Thanks. See you soon.